Hey everybody, welcome to Quested, where the game is made up and the points don't matter. I am Mikey Malakowski, and I'm here with, as always... I'm first now. Oh, shit. I just always go to the first person to my right. Alright. Uh, Nathan English, union laborer. <laughs> and also... <laughs> I'm William Rafter, my tummy hurts. <laughs> Both of those first two brave. things are true. So David, it's your turn, no pressure. Uh, do you want to introduce me? No. I'm David Ramos, <laughs> God's bravest soldier. True. That's the third true thing. Bravest little boy. We're just speaking the truth here. Also, things are a little different if you haven't uh, noticed. I mean, if you're listening to this on Spotify or Apple or whatever, it probably is exactly the same. It's the same. True. But we're lying to you. Um, here it's a uh, it's a little different. You know, we uh we jump to video, so you can see our, our beautiful little faces. It'll be the same for me because I don't listen to our podcast. <laughs> and if you're not a listener, it's the same because you didn't know this existed. Exactly. Your life has not changed. Yeah. Then you stumbled upon this because someone fell asleep and kept YouTube open. So uh, enjoy the. Who are these uh, the fucking ride. nerds on my screen? <laughs> the fuck are they talking about? Um. So, uh, last time on Quested, uh, we explored the deep undercroft underneath uh Carithuan. um <laughs> many fights and squabbles over uh who gets loot uh between <laughs> specifically glitch and isaac um not so much blint even though i think there was a point in time where you threw hugo through a d or no you pushed isaac out of the door and he flew <laughs> into the side of a wall because you were so Dude. excited to get and find some loot that last episode was chaotic <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It truly was um and we uh, wound up finding, uh, oh yeah, there was the, the walls with all the lore from Carathuan of all the oracles, uh, how they got their power. And you heard about this uh, legendary kind of prophetic uh, person named Lairith, uh, who's this like half tiefling, half fey god kind of guy, demigod kind of guy, um, who uh, gifted the oracles with sight. And you found what you thought was Lairith chained up in the dungeon in the Undercroft. Um, wasn't him. Was a shape changer. Um, <laughs> you took care of him extremely quickly by turning him into a frog and putting him into the bag of holding. Um, and that became a pretty common denominator going forward, uh, as you guys ventured further to the Chamber of Premonition, where you fought a, uh, giant spectral bear slash strange alien creature, almost centaur kind of thing, um, as, uh, what Will recognized, and you got, oh, the guys who have seen the, uh, the lore dumps, essentially, uh, as Herilane, an older Herilane, the second elven oracle, uh, scrawling, very gaunt and bloody, trying to scrawl runes on the entire chamber of premonition to kind of uh, do like a magic nuke. You took care of the, uh, the weird spectral creature um, that you heard Herilane mention as uh, calling it the failsafe, which sounds interesting, and... Uh, then you frogified Herlane and threw her in the bag <laughs> temporarily as you uh, climbed up the Chamber of Pre uh, Premonition and you start to feel the sun on your face. I'm going to pretend I didn't hit that. Dude. Um, Fog you. And that is where we find ourselves. Um, as you feel the coastal bite of the wind, uh, you begin to exit the lower, like, bunker section of the Chamber of Premonition. Um, it's kind of this, uh, it, it is the stark white tower that you saw as you entered Carathuan. Um, and you can see you guys up on the beautiful battle map that we have. Um, you guys are up in where the white tower was, the, where the just the ceiling was busted out and kind of this rubble around it. Um, all around you, after cresting the stairs is, on the inside of this uh, mostly intact white tower, uh, is uh, like beautiful light and all these uh, desks and tables and bookshelves that have been mostly picked clean by your guessing, like the hanged and reavers and stuff. Uh, you see, like, light pouring in from this glass ceiling, and you realize, like, oh, this was probably a place where oracles, like, learned things, or prospective magic students who weren't enrolled in the school learned a little bit more about uh, the history of Carathuan. 
um, in this bare chamber, uh, there's kind of this like dull, dusty air about it that uh, feels kind of separate from Carthuan's kind of ravaged bite, essentially. <laughs> um, uh, and as you guys kind of, you're just following Hugo's lead at this point, um, as he's like wa- try- he's trying to walk out and get out of the chamber of premonition. Uh, and upon exiting, you look out to the coastline where you can see in infamy, uh, New Remenor, the Black Tower. Uh, not pictured in the battle map, of course, but it's there. It's the, uh, Quentin, I think, briefly mentioned the Black Tower to you. Yeah. Um, and you you know it's the predecessor to Grimwater, uh, the uh, island prison back in the capital. Um... Yeah, uh, uh, basically ahead of you is the Great College where you know the hanged are posted up in their <laughs> makeshift lair. Um, and you see it is shrouded by the cover of trees where some have even toppled into it. Um, you guys know that there are two entrances from what you remember. Um, and this is kind of where I leave it up to you guys. There are There's the back entrance uh, where you came from, the leftmost entrance, uh, where it kind of takes you back through. Oh, actually, let me show you. The Great College is over here. It is the, to the leftmost area on the battle map. Um, and for the audio listeners, it is about, I'd say like 200 feet away, kind of across this upper Carith Uwen area, where this is mostly, you know, historical buildings, places of work, uh, the Great College, the Chamber of Premonition. You have a lot of uh, market stalls and stuff that are obviously all in shambles from <laughs> an apocalypse that happened to it but uh yeah the great college is about you see it off in the distance towering over everything maybe 200 250 feet away you guys know uh, a couple things there's two entrances there is the leftmost one to the back that doesn't take you immediately into the lobby where the hanged are and there is one uh that you saw that was impacted by a tree uh to the like very top of the great college um and you know that there are uh, these weird spores and mushrooms around that make stealth hard. Uh, Toll mentioned that uh, they kind of vibrate and light up when uh, someone walks through the spores and agitates them. Uh, and they're on both sides, so that makes it interesting. Wonderful. Yeah, I just talked Beautiful description. So I just so talked good. so long. You talk so long. I vibrate and light up when you start talking. Yeah, baby. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What does that mean? (laughs) You know exactly what that means. But yeah, you're right, I do. All right, so we're heading to the college. (laughs) Yes. um, I mean, if if you want to wreak vengeance upon uh, the hanged for Mm -hmm. (laughs) fucking you over. Do we have a bomb? (laughs) Not yet. Not yet. (laughs) I mean, I could drop a bomb on something. Quentin's, <laughs> Quentin's just, like, pissed, and, like, he's on the heels of his feet. You guys had a pretty good battle. You didn't really do much, so... It's true. Is that the one where we shrunk the thing and kicked it off the... Right? Was that the same, last thing we did? Same episode. Same episode. But that wasn't the last oh, no. fight. Last fight right. was against the big, like, bear creature. You got None of you guys took damage. <laughs> I think it was, like... <laughs> Jesus It's supposed Christ. to be way harder than that. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, uh... Quentin's like, I'm feeling proper spry to stop swinging on somebody. Well, does anyone know how to tie a rope? Because we have an old woman in the bag. Oh. (laughs) No, yeah, I could tie a rope. And then Hugo's like, I could also tie a rope. All right, perfect. I I, I can't. (laughs) I can't tie anything. Weren't you like a (laughs) farm boy? You you should know how to tie a rope, right? No, look at his shoes. They're untied. They, they've been <laughs> untied, <laughs> untied, untied <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> the laces are completely worn to nothing. That's why I just don't have laces anymore. Oh, yeah, so you ripped them out of your shoes? Yeah. I just... <laughs> you have shoes that are supposed to have laces with no laces. <laughs> <laughs> it's like flappy leather shoes oh that like, flop around when Smacking I walk. Smacking against your ankle. It's like when kids used to wear high tops in middle school, but didn't tie them. <laughs> they were like... Like they made like a <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> yeah, just let that shit flop everywhere. You have to have such bad blisters on your feet. <laughs> uh, my feet are so callous to this point; it doesn't even matter, and they're just full of mud. Why do you wear shoes then? Uh, just societal norms, pretty much. 
<laughs> I wouldn't even really wear them if I wasn't around you guys, but the whole bathing thing really triggered me, so <laughs> I keep them on for a look, for a beer appearance. <laughs> um, I pull out Frogo Lane. All right. Um, she is. Uh, so we specified last time when we talked about throwing people in the bag of holding. There was like, <clears throat> it was pretty much instantly you kill them. Uh, Cause like we considered like damage not a thing, but after ten minutes, uh, yeah, I will say it has not been ten minutes. Um, so she's still frogified, and you have Perfect. frog Haraline in your in your hands. It's just this cute little green frog. It all turns into the same kind of green frog. Yeah, well, I drop her. <laughs> <laughs> Beepity boppity. Um, copyright. <laughs> copyright. And you uh you dispel the frogification. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Um, so she is unfrogified. Uh, it's this, she's this, like, uh, like six or seven foot tall. Or no, elves are like, she's holy sorry. shit. Elves, oh. elves are tall. Elves are like six, she's, she's like six feet tall woman. Towering she plays for the Connecticut Scott son in the WNBA. <laughs> yeah. This is Candace Parker we're True. dealing with. Yeah. It's an elven Candace Parker. <laughs> Glitch's mouth agape looking up at her. <laughs> Blend is barking like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh my god! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Um, and uh, she's about six feet tall. She's very uh, gaunt and thin, like she hasn't eaten a real meal in months. Um, uh, she looks a lot older than the visions you saw of her in the, uh, the painted portrait of her in the uh, Silver Spires. Um, and uh, she's got this long, stringy uh, white hair. Uh, very like she's got the like jowls like the old lady jowls she's a very old elf um and uh she's wearing just like ragged robes that were once beautiful they were once white and sparkling but uh they're now just kind of ragged and covered in like years of dirt and she uh she just looks at you all like you know when you look at someone like when you're working and they're not paying attention because they're so focused on whatever, so you're like, like looking past you. Like when we play this game. Yeah, like yeah, like you guys <laughs> when you know, we play this game or whatever. Um, but you know, uh, when so she's like looking past you. She like briefly glances and is like, <gasps> "Oh shit, yeah, <clears throat> you've been locked down there for a while, haven't you?" I'm grabbing her um, chips from my pocket, loose chips. <laughs> and I'm holding them up to her. And she looks at you and not, doesn't even look at the chips. She looks at you and she's like, You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be. None of you were supposed to make it out. Sora. Well, that's not fucking nice. I failed her. Sora? I know Sora. I, I, I failed her. And she grabs you by your shoulders, Ew. <laughs> knocking. Ew. She, like, she, she pushes past Glitch, knocking some chips out of his hand. I fall to the ground. <laughs> I throw myself to the ground <laughs> like a fucking. You're flopping like a soccer player. Yeah. Um, and she grabs you. She's like, "I saw her die. Hmm? I saw her die. She's alive. The future. Oh." You saw her die? You three. Don't point at me. <laughs> and she has these long, disgusting, like... Th- th- I, de- I described them as, like, she was scrawling to the bone. She, her bone oh, was, like, sticking geez. out. Oh, goodness. So, and she's like, she's like, you three. You three were there when... When she... When she died. When she dies. I was... I was going to end it, and it would never happen. Wait, are we the reason why she dies? I do not know. I could not see past it, but I I saw you three. So you just assumed that by association, if we died, it wouldn't happen. That's usually how these things go. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm five for 15, so I'd say I'm pretty good. <laughs> You're a horrible prophet. <laughs> <laughs> and she just starts breaking down in tears, and it's just Look like what you did, dude. She like she's like hunched over she in a really like the gross ground. way. <laughs> <laughs> she, she she attacked me. You wasted your chips on her. 
I'm, so <laughs> I'm picking them up and putting them back in my pocket. Blint's <laughs> eating them off the ground without <laughs> using his hands. There's lint on them. Yeah, Blint's like... Mm, mm. Uh, I want to kneel down to her. Yeah, she's like on the ground, like hunched over. Like her bone, her spine is like sticking out of her thin, tattered robes. Well, we are all friends of Sora. So if you tell us what you saw, we might be able to stop things ahead of time. The visions, they... They come to me, uh, vague. I I smell a scent, and then I I see a brief picture, much like a painting, and I can't place it after that. But you were in castle walls, wooden castle walls, and the sky was dark, and I smelled lilacs for a brief moment and then and then she you you all you all died it was like a calamity I don't I don't know I can't induce visions like I used to, and I, 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 I don't know. Jesus, that's dark. Um, <laughs> she's just not really paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> she's just staring at the dirt, basically. Guys, I don't like this weird old lady we found. Uh, group huddle. Quentin and Hugo huddling. Are we still tying her up? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Are we going to tie <laughs> her up still? <laughs> he, he goes like, I don't see the reason to. Yeah. She seems like she's not... Her plan was foiled, you know. She's not quite intent on killing us, it seems. She'd be f- swigging. That's true. And then he goes like, he's in the huddle, but he's not holding his arms up. He's like, got him crossed. <clears throat> And he's like, I want to put my arm under, like his arm. <laughs> Lift your fucking arm up. <laughs> Fuck off, mate. Okay. I'm holding the back of his calf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Quentin is like, uh, he's like, I don't trust that we should just tie her up anyways, just in case. We're not bringing her in there when we, you know, no. whack all the Fuck no. Dudes. Fuck no. Hey, Quentin, do you have any babysitting experience? Babysitting? Well, I was in jail for three years. Um, and then <laughs> before that, I was drunk for like eighteen, so not really. Yeah, not. I mean it's like the same thing. I mean, hey, I babysit this little bloke all the fucking time. Yeah, mm. uh, and he's like shaking you. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> uh, he's shaking you way too fucking stop. hard. Yeah. <laughs> Get off of me. Okay, okay, okay. He's delicate. I'm he hand me. <laughs> Quentin gets serious for a second for <laughs> some reason. <laughs> really shaking you it's very serious let me shake you <laughs> I'm made of metal but my cheeks are jiggling yeah it's like clink 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 um <laughs> Hugo would you mind watching over her oh not at all while we go reclaim the ship I you know I've brained a couple of people and especially you went in the healing with uh <laughs> with my Jesus. my big old wrench but I don't really uh, enjoy violence he could have surprised me, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, well, the know, way you described it. Yeah, well, I mean, you sound like you're eager joy. almost. Yeah. <laughs> it's really <laughs> disturbing. You were laughing when you said that. It was unsettling. Oh, I mean, like. you know. Was, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> I want to brain someone. I've watched you brain several people <laughs> and a mentor. I want to do it again. He starts <laughs> clapping like an infant. I want to brain more. That's the energy we need in I there. want more brain. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> Wim <laughs> <laughs> looks at the camera. <laughs> oh, God. I can't wait to get meta on this shit. Um, but, yeah, what's what's the plan? So how should we go about this? Do we think we can uh, extract more information about this prophecy from her? Uh, from what I gathered, I don't think she can offer much more than what she gave. Because it seems like she doesn't have a full grasp on the visions. Sounds like she doesn't know shit. How do you induce these visions? 
<laughs> so you guys are in a huddle and you ask her like five feet away from you and she's like sunken into the dirt. <laughs> uh, these visions there. I can. Uh, uh, there's a root. Uh, and gross ass fingers. There's a root uh, in uh, Farinosa. Uh, you must confront the Fenwalker. Jesus. Uh, Fenwalker Sundaran, uh, the, her minions, uh, when when extracted, uh, these spores and the root of the spore, that will induce. My goodness. <laughs> Hmm. All right, Glitch, come back into the circle. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Someone's been uh, listening to Ro Jogan a lot lately. <laughs> <Ro> Jogan. <laughs> Ivermectin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> He's so nervous. Wait, he looks like, uh, oh, my God, Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> yeah. It's Joe Rogan with a Macden. Do it. It's Joe Rogan in a cloak, and he's like really old. <laughs> Ro Jogan. Ro Jogan. So we have a uh, we have Very Gee and Ro Jogan. Yeah, those are two members that you've injected yeah. into the game. Instead kingdom. of like podcasts, they just like go town to town and like speak to people. <laughs> they go yard sailing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very Gee just buys land. And is mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's all he does. Ro Jogan loves ivermectin in saunas. Ivermectin <laughs> still exists in, <laughs> yeah. in this world. Get me ivermectin. Um, if you want me to um, Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got you. Uh, so, so, the yeah, what's the vibe? We're, Hugo's going to be outside with uh, with Haralane. Yeah. All right, team. So tell me if this is a bad idea. Should we... Send Haralane back to Crescent City. Uh, by herself? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, just it's over there. <laughs> this is, Bye. <laughs> keep walking. You'll get there in a few days. Who's going to take her? I mean, we have a carriage. We, we just we could make a pit stop. I mean, we got here in like two hours. True. It wasn't too long. And Hugo's like, I plan on leaving after I, I secure our friend's uh, dinghy. So, uh... I could be oh. of some use, I suppose. I don't mind stopping and dropping her off in Crescent City if you're uh, in a hurry to meet me in our sin. If you're up for it. I don't mind at all. She seems distraught. I don't want to just leave her wondering. Let's get rid of her. <laughs> 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 She's <laughs> gross. She doesn't bathe. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> gross. I slap Blint up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say I slap him. No. Slap him. I dab yeah, him up. That's a thunderous Jesus. clap. Yeah. yeah, she almost smells as bad as you do. Dude, it's a gland problem, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you guys should be more sensitive. It's a gland problem. <laughs> it's hereditary. Did you ever okay? think about combing out your fur? What's that? <laughs> I just were, started were you looking asking, through my bag for a comb. Were you asking what a comb is or your fur? Oh, no, I know what my fur is. I don't know what the other, whatever that is. All right. I don't know what that is. You know, you were, I don't know what that is. So, Quentin <laughs> said you were a farm boy, right? Yeah. You know, like a rake, how you rake the grass? Sure. You do I'm, that, but with your, your fur. I'm climbing up Blint's back <laughs> while you're why? talking to him. With comb and mouth. Yeah. Him. yeah, with comb and mouth. You're late, you're late. There's a wind blowing. Yeah, it looks like I'm climbing a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mount Beastwood. <laughs> no, that'd be that'd be sick. Okay, I like that idea. Yeah, I that's something like we're that rocking idea. with. I start styling his hair. <laughs> it becomes uh, the opening to Jimmy Neutron, where like he stands <laughs> under the thing that like styles his hair. God damn. So yeah, if if you would want to take Hera Lane back to Crescent City for Sora to look after her, um, then we could take care of things here. And you'll come back after, right? I'm I'm heading up to Arsen. But you need the ship. Oh, I was going. I can just put it in my pocket. The ship in the college. Yes, I can put it in my pocket. Right, but we have to get it first. Oh, yes, you'd have to come. So back. yes, I will wait out here with with uh, Miss Hara Lane. Okay. And unless you want me inside, which I can help. Whatever you want to do. You seem too eager to come inside. I. It's kind of unsettling. We don't I like that. Hey, man, I, I don't know what you're... You sound crazy. <laughs> uh-huh. 
What are you doing? Well, what are you what are you doing? I think you should stay outside. All right. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> We see how he really is now that he's not around. Yeah, yeah. you. <laughs> he's cool. You guys have. He started as like a fun dad, and then everything just started hitting the fan, and he got pissed with you guys in the last couple episodes, and now he's just like a normal dad. Yeah, near the end of like. Wait, why was he pissed at us? Because you guys kept just fucking around, and also I think uh, you did some weird shit to him. <laughs> Probably. There was a part where you were like trying. To, you're like, I'm gonna, pee, I'm gonna pluck out your eyes or some shit. You're oh like, yeah, I kept saying I wanted to rip people's eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Give me your eyes. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. I was like pretending <laughs> to rip his eyes. He was like, I will fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus, we should have saw that. Like there were signs. <laughs> We right, should have yeah. seen this. He yeah, wanted he me dead from the beginning. <laughs> He's always he just, been going. He just needed an good. excuse. He claps Glitch's bla- back really hard and grabs his uh, shoulder, and he's just like, oh, I'm a man of industry, you know? I'm like staring. <laughs> I'm like darting my eyes at <laughs> the ground. I I'm, not, I'm not a murderer. Well, I wouldn't do that. You know? No, Why did yeah. you specify that? Well, you, you're <laughs> the just, ones, you know. You shouldn't have to uh, tell people you're not a murderer. Around. We're going to go. We're, we're going to go. All we're right. going to murder these people. All right, come on, everybody. <laughs> hey, you psychopath. All right, we're going to go brain these guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going to go get as, some brain. As he, as he holds... You didn't tie up Harry Lane, right? No. You didn't need to, I imagine. No. Um, as he's just, like, trying to help her up, you guys are like, you're fucking insane. I'm, we're going to go murder these people. <laughs> are you... Uh, do you have the sending spell? Hmm. Let me... No. No, I don't. Okay. I don't either. Never mind, then. Oh, <laughs> Hugo pipes in. Oh, I have the sending spell. Uh, maybe you should tell uh, Sora they are bringing uh, Hera Lane. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is Hera Lane. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, I, yeah, I definitely knew that. I wasn't <laughs> just guessing. <laughs> yeah. No, Don't we have, like, the thing right? in our ear? What's up? Oh, we yeah, you guys have, us? but that's uh, for specific Between us, right? Yeah, yeah. that's oh, for us three us. and then Tulip, tulip yeah. yeah. Oh, Tulip. Um... But yeah, he can. He's. Like, I'll send a, a message to Sora. Okay. Time. I'll see what she wants me to do. But I am. I imagine she wants me to bring her back. <sighs> All right. Well, um, this is where we depart. And you guys are just uh, right outside of the uh, the uh, stark white tower that is the tra- chamber of premonition. Um, and yeah. So, uh, as far as getting into the great college. There are, like I said before, two options, the back way that you came and the front way that you, that, uh, you have not explored but you've seen. Uh, the front way is impacted by uh, a big-ass tree that fell in it, and the back way you have to kind of... You don't immediately get to the lobby. The back way is more like a, you're going through classrooms and stuff to get to the lobby. Um, so uh, depending on that, there could be... You know, there's only you know, seven of the hanged in total. Um... So, you know, there could be any number of guards anywhere, but you don't know. They also might just think you're dead. Uh, before we go in there, I'm going to use my Pearl of Power. Fuck yeah. Um, to get a third level spell slot back because I am low on spells. Lovely. Um, so what do you think the move is? Mm, <clears throat> going in the front might be a bad idea. It does lead right to where they are, though. Unless we want to just, you know, pull up on them. Are we going to get herded? (laughs) I don't know why Blint's, like, really (laughs) stupid all of a sudden. (laughs) (laughs) An infant, like. Yeah, Blint, probably. (laughs) Fuck. Oh, more than likely. Big ouchie. (laughs) Are you sure you're, like, you don't want to hang out out here? Me? I'm I'm fine. No, I think you might need me in there. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. You don't want me in there, do you? No, it's not what I said. He doesn't want me. In no, there. no, Quentin. Quentin, come on. We're good associates. Yeah, we uh. Remember? Remember what? Man? Yeah, we helped you get out of jail. Remember that? Remember when you fell in the when they fell in the pit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. <laughs> you see, his like his yeah. eyes get water. <laughs> He's like. Okay. All right. Um, no, it's all right, buddy. We want you yeah, around. Don't do that. We don't we like. We need you here. We, uh, it's okay, friend. I'll be a powerful asset. You are. You. You're really. <laughs> uh, 
powerful, yeah. <laughs> okay. You're all right. Come on. All right. You're all right, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, Don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wipe he the tears. He just punches you in the ankle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> in the ankle? <laughs> <laughs> he squats down and punches. Oh, that's such a weird... That didn't even hurt. That was just odd. Ah. Okay, he's growling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no growling. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> wait, are we just, wait, where are we going? Are we just going in the front or are we going to yeah, sneak in the back? Might as well. So we're going. Fucking, right, sure. Honestly, are sure. we just going like straight over? So okay, over? yeah. To show you on the battle map and for the audio listeners, I will explain. Um, there is a, a straight stretch of uh of road that carries you to the Great College if you're going in the front. Um, and the front uh is right around here. Okay. Uh, you kind of pass a brush of trees because uh, these trees sprouted up over the time that the reunification happened. Um, and uh, you just kind of enter through the front. And then if you uh, wanted to go th- uh, the back way, which you came, you kind of have to backtrack around the entire city uh, and then go through the back way. But th- uh, there, are, there are these like mushroom-like spores in front of both entrances. I say fuck it. Let's just go straight. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to have to walk. Around. Yeah, all the Ooh, way through the city. Maybe I can. Uh, do Do I remember if the spores make noise? They do not make noise. They only vibrate and light up. So it's more. It's mostly a, a visual cue. Oh, is that what you were saying earlier? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you just said that. I was like, I mean, it was funny, but I didn't know it was. <laughs> You're like, spores. what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah, at first I'm like. Well, yeah, that's something we would say. But I didn't realize the context of, uh, it's like the spores. I was so, referencing the spores. I don't know if I can do exactly this, but would I be able to do major image as we walk through the city? How long does it last? Ten minutes. I mean, yeah. To, like, mask the, uh, what are they called? The sh- shrooms? Yeah, like the spores that are around these mushrooms. Would I be able to, like, mask their lighting up? Um, with a major image? You probably could, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that if then. You, if you just like uh, kind of occlude them with some fog and stuff, Yeah. I think you could. Yeah, I'll do that then. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> so, the, the plan is to go in through the front, a cloud, uh, occlude the spores in the, the lighting up shroom in front of it, uh, and then just bombard them. Yeah. Because if they, if they don't see them lighting up, then I can't imagine that they'll have much of an idea True. that we're on the way. So these were the people that we fought with so yeah, these when we are first the, got into the town? The like, mm-hmm. biker gang dudes who yeah. are obsessed with like being like their god. They um, don't have hands? Mm-hmm. Uh, most of them, oh, yeah, they're all missing one hand yeah. and an eye. Okay. Um, but they are, uh, the, their leader is missing not only both their hands and he has like blades and he has a uh, blindfold over his eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh yeah. And they had Bink, Bink Donfarb as like a Gosh. prisoner slash like indoctrinated uh, guy that yeah. refuses to <laughs> become one of them, but kind Bink of is to. the final boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So shall we enact the plan? <laughs> yes. No, don't. Oh, no, wait. Um, okay. So, uh, you guys... Oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> the urge to scream laughing at the mic is so strong. The urge um, to scream in general is really strong. Right <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so you guys uh, start walking your way toward uh, the Great College. And... Um, you the air is a lot uh, clearer than it was because uh, you you haven't really entered this area too much yet besides to fight the manticore um and the air is a lot clearer uh, i think it was kind of cloudy and uh just kind of dark and dull around here but it does there's a bit of sunlight and it feels very good uh, as you are finally your eyes are also still adjusting to the light after being in like a cavern for multiple hours <laughs> Um. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, the light is so bright. Uh. <laughs> 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 laughing like <Yeah>. that. <laughs> Be stealthy. <laughs> and you guys uh, are. I imagine. Are, do you want to do this in stealth, or do you are you just walking? 
right up to it. You get, I will say, you uh, you take the long road and have no uh, problems. You do uh, as you kind of crest towards the mushrooms near it. You start to see the spores start to vibrate, and uh, these vibrating spores. When I say they vibrate, I mean that they like start to shake in the air mm. and accumulate a little closer. Um, and then the accumulation uh, next to these uh, giant stalks of mushrooms uh, light up the mushroom that they're vibrating by. Um, so you do see maybe like 50 feet away from the Great College as you pass one of these mushrooms. Uh, it starts to vibrate and the mushroom has this dull kind of bluish purplish glow. Uh, but it fades very quickly as you get closer and closer to the Great College. And um, did my uh, major image block that out? Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. I I will say that was like the test run for you of kind of trying it. Yeah. Um, because it started to go off, and then you like you. What do you do? I don't want to tell you what you do. Um. And we'll say you apply it to the this the one that's really in front of the great college. Hmm. Oops. Let me think about it. Mother. <laughs> um so I pull out a bit of fleece just and then I start rubbing it together until it starts to turn to like ash and like mist and just kind of like grows into a cloud around me and then I kind of swirl it and like mold it to my liking that is sick and then uh hmm I'll just make like the lights around it appear more dim like normally dim hell yeah um yeah so it looks pretty much like the same look just looks like a bug flew through it basically um which probably happens often and uh yeah you you make your way another 50 or so feet towards the great college and it kind of looms in as you get closer it looms in the distance but it like even feels you guys were near it. It's like Notre Dame levels of tall. You know what I mean? It's huge. It's hundreds of feet. It was this once grand institution where mages of... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and where mages of all report kind of uh, came... Or rapport, sorry. Came and learned things. They, they studied here. There was a, uh, a bunch of insane mages that came from here and that you kind of haven't really heard from whether they either uh, traveled off or became more like uh, what's the word secluded mm. in their later years and uh, <laughs> you know a lot of great the, a lot of things at the great college in, in the past have been popularized with the uh, also popularization of uh, fuck what was that called the game what was that game called that we I forgot the, sport. the name. It's hang on, let me let me get there. Oh, yeah, with the popularization of Scormy and Gata or Score Game, uh it, as the common uh name for it is. Um Score Game is huge in pretty much all college campuses throughout Ismunda. And uh although there is although there is no professional league uh, it is mostly, like, uh, a college sport. And, you know, there's, like... It's played uh, recreationally sometimes. Not to the, the extent of the peop of the colleges that play it. But uh, you would know, uh, back home... Uh, <laughs> in uh, Strokeville... <laughs> I didn't name it. <laughs> I didn't name it. Yeah, you um, did. Yeah, you're right. I named it. Um... <laughs> Uh, no, in Strokeville, they, uh, were huge. They always, uh, they have a really good score game team and they always, uh, fought against, uh, oh my God, CS, CSA? No, wait. Salamettos College of the Arts? That's, that's in Clearwater with you. That was yours. Okay, yeah, so, uh, Salamedo U, uh, SU. The, the uh, Crescent City Salamettos always goes against the Strokeville team. and <laughs> Strokeville State Tech. University. State Tech U. It should be Strokeville State. <laughs> yeah. Strokeville Wait, State. We could have no. picked another t 
town to have them in college. Are you, hey, I'm just Wait, going off what Portland, you told Oregon me. University. State Tech Institution. STI. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. STI. STI always goes against SU, and uh, they have a heated <laughs> rivalry. <laughs> and, uh, Don't you it, hate that? Back in the day, it used to be uh, SCA versus the Great College. Um, Damn. But then the reunification happened, and the Great College is in disrepair. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys are, you guys now find yourself, uh, in the front of the great college. Uh, you work your magic to at, make the, at this point we start to like sneak, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Roll stealth checks, everybody. Okay. They're so cute. <laughs> the little dice. Shut you up. You said stealth, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and fish for advantage. Would we have advantage because I turned off the shrooms? Um, n- you just negated disadvantage, basically. Darn it. Because <laughs> that would have given you disadvantage. I got 11. 11? <laughs> it's an accumulative <laughs> check, so you don't have to worry. Oh, no, we probably do. <laughs> I got an 8. <laughs> <laughs> I got 24. <laughs> okay, okay. That, is, <laughs> that, is, that saves the fucking day, let me tell you. The right tallest there. fucking person. <laughs> oh, what yeah, did, I didn't do one for Quentin. Find? I said the tallest person. Yeah, Quentin got uh, jumped up. 22, so yeah, he's good. Jeez. Um, We're man. like... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like... <laughs> we trip Some over a me. rock every five feet. <laughs> You're, like, <laughs> <laughs> You're making a very loud, like... <laughs> 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 Isaac's never concentrated on a spell like this before. <laughs> it's like Doctor Strange and Spider Man. Yeah. He's doing like physics and shit. He has three veins on his forehead that are all popping out. <laughs> There's just blood squirting on his forehead. <laughs> um. And then me and Quinn are like, isn't this so easy, guys? <laughs> yeah, you're just walking. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. Oh. So, yeah, you guys, I would imagine you guys are like, uh, you get up there first, and you see that this portion of the Great College, uh, you can look now at the, you're kind of at the crest of all this rubble, the beginning of all this rubble, uh, as these natural trees that have sprouted up recently, um, kind of give you some cover uh, uh, where the mushroom went. And you're looking out now, and you can see uh, the wall has been fully impacted where, like, the doorway would be. There would be this huge kind of, like, entrance um, to the college. And it was fully impacted by this giant uh, oak tree. And uh, so you could kind of see into it. And, like, if someone was looking right there, they could see you. But you can't see anybody. There's no guards at the, the front of the thing. So you chose the, you chose the, the definite easier path. Good shit. Um, yeah. And... <laughs> Right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, and yeah, you guys are just looking out, and you can kind of see, uh, not perfectly into the foyer because it's you know you're still standing by these huge stone solid walls, and uh, you can see that there's a brief, uh, kind of I mean, like entryway. I don't know how to like a parlor essentially where you mm-hmm. like you know brush off your shoes and stuff that it was definitely made by the hanged it's like very like cute and kitschy oh they got There's, a mud room they got a mud room that's what it's called mud room <laughs> and they have like a like a really fresh carpet actually that it looked like someone like you know, like a like seamed together oh they have a welcome mat that says this house is a home <laughs> i was gonna say they have <laughs> live, live, laugh, love yeah, live, laugh, love. stuff on the on the walls There's like yankee candles everywhere <laughs> it smells amazing just in the mud room Facts. um and this definitely was not here when you guys were like here earlier <laughs> so this is like a new addition they've been hard at work making this like a home <laughs> it's like we have company <laughs> yeah and so uh yeah i'm gonna say as you uh enter into the steps of the great college everybody roll initiative for me what did everybody get i got 11 11 if that's okay i got 22 uh i got six Okay. Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Trying to roll as low as I possibly can <laughs> this episode. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <clears throat> Are these railroad tracks? 
Railroad tracks. Okay, hang on. Let me explain. Did you copy a Pokemon gym? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> square so, for square. So, so I made a Pokemon gym in in Incarnate. <laughs> the Industrial um, Revolution trainer. <laughs> 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 You're fighting uh, what's his name? James Vanderbilt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm thinking of James Vanderbeek. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's Dude, Vanderbilt? Dawson from Dawson's Creek. Dawson Vanderbeek. <laughs> <laughs> Dawson Van Vanderbeek. You're fighting Ford trucks. <laughs> You're fighting four Ford F one fifties during World Toyota War Thon. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. When our forefathers invaded Toyota Thon. True. <laughs> <laughs> the French Toyota Thon. <laughs> oh shit. That one dude is feral. He's like drooling. Okay, boys. So, as you enter into the Great College, the uh, newly dubbed Lair of the Hanged, um, you guys witness uh, stepping like kind of behind. The, you haven't been spotted yet. I only had you a roll initiative just for the the order of things. Um, you step behind uh, this tree, this uh, fallen over tree. Um, and you can see ahead of you that there is this upper level uh, over to your left, or actually the way you're looking at to the right, um, and uh, there is this kind of like the two stairways that lead up to this kind of podium area where you assume that there would be like, you know, public lectures and places for public speaking uh, with various like bookshelves behind it and uh, like <coughs> pedestals and like benches and stuff. Um, that lead off to other rooms in the college that are up on, like, the second level. And you see in this downstairs lobby area, uh, there has been... Um, you see the desk where, uh, off to your your, your guys' left, um, as you guys... Where, yeah, where are let's, we? Let's poke you in there. Let's put you in here. Bada-bing. Bada-boom. I'll make you bigger in this, too. Yeah, bada-boom. I don't know where I just put that man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah. So you guys. Okay. Going well. Now y'all are too big, but whatever. Roll twenty. Okay. So you guys uh, witness. You see the the same like reception kind of desk off in the corner that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, has the lever behind it that sent you on the trap door uh, where the canoe or the dinghy was, sorry. Um, and the dinghy is still suspended over this, like, basically trap circle in the middle of the lobby. Um, they have, in the in the time that you've been gone, built uh, minecart tracks throughout the entire <laughs> building going in from the second floor to the lobby area. It kind of, like drops down like a roller coaster almost. How long were we gone for? Uh, you do not know, but it has been a while. These dudes are productive <laughs> for yeah. years. Yeah. They built a train track and a welcome room just because they had time. <laughs> just, Bro, they were bored, yeah. I'm second guessing killing them. Imagine the infrastructure they could bring <laughs> yeah. to like Crescent City. <laughs> Imagine they could, hiring them. Bro, <laughs> they built an entire railway in maybe three hours. And they And literally all of them have one hand. True. Jesus. We're about to have them build an extension on Nana's house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nana Beastwood's getting Nana the fucking Beastwood. sunroom. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, and so that is what you kind of visualize. You see, uh, you kind of can't really make out people uh, yet, but you do see some some goons walking around on the. I should say notable people, but you yeah you you see some goons walking around on the floor, and you see there's the guard guarding uh what was supposed to be where you were entering from, where they assumed you would enter from, which is the back way. Um, and at the top of the order is Isaac. What do you, uh, what's the, what's the move? You think you have little time to make a move before you get noticed. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to change my major image or yeah, I'm going to change my major image. Um, I'm not going to have it, like, make anything necessarily. All right. Uh, but I want it to make, like, a really loud sound uh, overhead. Like, it sounds overhead of the building. And it's, like, massive wings whooshing. Okay. Okay. Like, <laughs> um, what, what should I... What do I got to roll for that, you think? 
May, maybe is there anything insight? specifically said in illusion? Well, major illusion? let me read it off to you. Yeah. Are we just trying to go get the dinghy? You want the dinghy, yeah. But you think it'd be kind of hard uh, to do without alerting someone? Um, yeah. It seems completely real, including sounds, smells, and temperature appropriate to the thing depicted. I think I do have to make it like an image, though. Oh, it has to be an image. It can't be a noise. Yeah. Maybe. You're thinking of prestidigitation? Yeah. I have thaumaturgy. Or that's what you what I'm probably thinking of. Thaumaturgy. Hmm. Can can I make a perception check? I want to see if I can yes, spot sir. people in here. Uh you we are acting this as a turn. So yeah, you can make a perception check though. I just wanted to clarify. Will that be an action? Uh I was thinking, yes. Hmm. So are we fighting the people in the circles? Um, so you have you can't really see them yet. They're just there because I forgot to take them away. Oh, all right. So we're we're trying. Yeah, you have no visual on like the important people. You just have some goons walking around the lobby, essentially. I'm supposed to okay. suspend belief and pretend like I can't see them right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> how how can I suspend belief in this <laughs> silly little? Game? I'm hmm. supposed to just be an idiot on cam. You need to suspend these nuts. Okay. <laughs> At a time like this, for you to say something like that is super insensitive. <laughs> God. Um, We're in dire straits here, okay? I'm at my wit's end. I'm going to send my major image in as a Camaro. A Camaro? A <laughs> Dude, they're going to hear us. A freaking bumblebee. Yeah, who built a car? Like, they'll never hear us in my Camaro. <laughs> oh, fuck. Here they come. We all drive by in a car. We're like, bye. <laughs> Camar um, Camar uh, Chimera. Alvin Camaro. Um, okay, so you're throwing it in the middle of the lobby, the, a vision? Is that what you're saying? Or you? What's I want it to make it look like it comes down, like it came from the roof or oh, some yeah, shit. Yeah, there, there is definitely, lands. there is a gap in the roof. All right, uh, perfect. Right where you guys are, actually. Then, yeah, Camaro. Um, so it flies in. Um, Actually, let's do, oh, wait, I can do a little bit of this. Dude. What are you doing? Dude, what the dude, frick am dude, I doing? Be what fucking am I careful. Doing? Oh be fucking God. careful, Mikey. Be fucking careful, Mikey. I'm not doing anything because I don't know what I'm doing. What the? Where do you want it to go? Right there. Right there, right where I drew it? <laughs> right there. Perfect, Perfect dude. Oh, go. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm right. going to get rid of that. More shapes. Okay, I can't get rid of it. <laughs> God, it's fine. Just picture that there's like yeah. a chimera like right by the dinghy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and is that the end of your turn? No. I'm, I'm going to have them roll. No, uh, it's not the end of my turn. Right, sir. So I'll for wait, those of us... Wait for them. Actually, I'll wait for my turn. I have a question, kind of. I'm giving you guys essentially like a little surprise round. I'm just so freaking scared. I don't think that took an action to do. Uh, the to I don't change. I don't think it's an action to change the is it an action to change the illusion? Does it say? No. Then uh, we will just rule that it isn't. Okay. Oh. We'll say it's a um, bonus action though. Hmm. True. How far across is this room? So this is probably like. A steady 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 feet. 50 feet. It looks a lot bigger than it is. But there's an upstairs area. Look. <laughs> Can you handle that, Papa? <laughs> Fuck no. Do you like that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm scared. All right, Glitch. You got this, buddy. I'll use a, my last bardic inspiration. <laughs> oh, shit. He throws you like a football across the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll just have my turn. Because right. I, I can't do anything. All right. And that is going to be Toll's turn. Wherever he's at. Let's see. Let's see if he's smart enough to know what's going on. Smart. 
to be smart and <laughs> he is not smart enough to know what's going on. <laughs> uh, you hear off uh, in the upstairs portion to your right, um, visualized on the battle map to your left, <gasps> but um, uh, where you guys are looking to your right, no. uh, you hear off in the back, uh, fellas, there is something. <laughs> we must fight. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to your stations. And yeah, you uh, you start to notice uh, some shuffling. You hear some shuffling about the lackeys in the front. Uh, obviously, we're locked into initiative, so they can't move yet. But that's the end of Tull's turn. Um, we're going to go Quentin. Um, Quentin is just going to give a bardic to Blint. Yo, wait, can I have a pencil, someone? Uh, what's your bardic at, Will? Uh, it's a D8. All right. Word. Um, and because Quentin is a uh, Valor Bard, you can add that to damage as well. You can, like, add that to the damage you do to people. You have a D8. So fucking busted. It's really cool. I really like it. Um, but that's the end of his turn, and we're going to go to Blint. Okay. So essentially, the like, the main dudes like Tall and then this feral dude and Bink are not anywhere to be seen. You just see these dudes. Out the dudes with the yellow circles around them. Oh okay. You see these little like lackey. So what what dudes. can we really do right now? Like I know we're not trying to be seen. So but this what? is a pre-combat like surprise round. So you can do you can start you basically set the scene for yourself to maybe give yourself an advantage to help because you think that this you're walking into their lair essentially like this is gonna be tough so do your vocal warm ups <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> they're like what's that you guys hear someone warming up the human torch was denied a bank <laughs> the home. human torch um is there a way I can move <laughs> underneath the archer to the left that's, like, upstairs. Um, like, underneath him, kind of? Like yeah, th- th- yeah. You g- basically, like, you can see the stairway and, like, the walkway. The way that it's made is uh, the brief bit of, like, uh, upper area uh, to the foyer. Uh, you can kind of look over and see into the lobby. So you can kind of tuck behind their vision if you do roll a good enough stealth check. All right, I'll try that. Actually, we'll rock with the stealth check that you had because they're right. yeah, no one's actively looking for you. Um, so yeah, you had a twenty-four. Let's see if their uh, perception can beat that. No way. No, no. just got... missed it. You got a twenty-four on your stealth, right? Yeah. 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 So they missed. So you uh, you're gonna tuck yourself right by this kind of wall underneath the minecart. Yeah. Track, right by the. Uh... Blend like runs over. Yeah. He goes <laughs> cartoon character that, like, <laughs> yeah. <run> there, <laughs> and he like goes on and then he goes and he just waves back at everyone. <laughs> He's like perfect. guys, I'm over here now. <laughs> <laughs> Even though everyone watched him walk. Quentin's looking around like Quentin over here. I'm over here. I'm gonna Where'd he go? I'm gonna throw something at this dude. <laughs> Where did he fucking go? Where's it? Quentin, Quentin tell someone tell Quentin I'm over here. <laughs> Quentin disappeared. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows where I was. I'm like fucking ten feet to the left, guys. I don't think Waving it's... your arms. <laughs> Get over here. I think they um, got blint. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm right they here. They took blint. <laughs> guys, we have to find blint. Um, so you still have actions if you want to take like a potion or do something. Yeah, actually, that's a, that's a great idea. I, don't know I have eight to. potions. I will use one of them. Okay. Do we? Did it specified what kind it is? Mm, potion of minor hail giant strength. That's one of them. <laughs> yeah, or is which there one multiple you, or just one kind? Which which? Well, what do you? I know you have healing potions and uh, like fun potions. Oh wait, I have. So I wasn't sure. Yeah, I use a healing potion. All right. Does it say the dice you gotta roll for it? Mm. Or does it just say type? No, yeah, it just says a type. What, I have two. What type of healing potion? Greater healing potion. Greater is four d four, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So four d four. Um, okay. Plus, uh, four. Yeah. Here's my little guy. Here you go, sir. Everybody, give me one. Hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> A grown man saying hee hee. Ho ho. Math time. Five, eight, nine, thirteen. Plus four. 
Yeah, 13. Oh, that's plus four? Nice. Yeah. All right, dude. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we don't get on camera. We're, like, really mean to each other. Then we start being mean to each other. Mine's uh, a green one. Mine's the little clear weirdo. Mine's the coolest one. Which one do you give yeah, back wh- Yeah, which one do you think is the coolest? I just throw up out of nervousness. Do you hate my dice? <laughs> if you hate it, I'll throw them out. Or I'll eat them if you hate them. I hate all of your dice, just to make it fair. Somebody eat my dice. Um, Can you stop chewing your dice in the mic? <laughs> I'm sorry. They're just so good. I go... <laughs> <laughs> There's like a bunch of dice like in sunflower here. seeds. <laughs> He's chewing the dice. Um. So yeah, is that your turn, sir? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see if the other hanged are <laughs> intelligent enough to know what's going on. Oh wait. So sorry. I add what I rolled to my health, right? Yes, mm-hmm. sir. Cool. Um, so you notice, uh, as one of the lackeys in the lobby, uh, this, like, most of the, the hanged are just humans. Um, you see this, uh, what kind of, like, buff dude. They all have their hair dyed, uh, like, platinum blonde. <laughs> and, like, very straightened on purpose. Mm-hmm. Um, so you see this, like, really beefy dude with, like, the thick, like, neck and, like, the Brock Lesnar muscle. And he's, like, he's in, like, a like a ragged tunic. And he's just, like, telling a story with, like, another lackey. He's just, like, yeah, so I was, like, chilling. And then I was, like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and it's a huge chimera. And uh, only one of them, like, looks off to your guys' direction where, where uh, it kind of – where you – get the inkling that one of them might know what's up i smile and wave at them <laughs> and uh the You're like oh there's a little robot it's the there. it's <laughs> the one farther from you guys uh maybe like 45 feet across from the the way and he just goes uh you guys <laughs> um <laughs> i think you're gonna want to take a look at this <laughs> guys who's that um <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, glitch. Your turn. We still, you still got the surprise round. I'll, I'm, I'm not going to screw you like that. Uh, I'm going to use Shield of Faith on um, Isaac. <gasps> Red. So you get a plus two to your AC for ten minutes. Nice. For as long as I'm concentrating on it. Nice. Thank you. Do I still have this uh, add 1d4 to save or attack? I don't remember what that was from. Oh, that's guidance. That's guidance. Or so attack. I have that still? Wait, can you add guidance to attack rolls? Oh, uh, yeah. I Might think be bless. Oh, yeah, I think he blessed you. Are you con- you're not concentrating on bless currently, are you? No, I don't even think I have... B- wait. That would have faded a while. Oh, yeah, it's yeah that long. was a while ago. Yeah. No, it's a minute. Oh, it's a minute? Okay. Yeah, it d- you definitely don't have that anymore. Plus, I'm concentrating on shield of faith now, so... Anything else is gone, gonzo. Rap. And then, um, that's a bonus action. Um, hmm. What should I do next? I'm just gonna start blowing people up. <laughs> do it. Uh, how far away is the one dude that saw us? Um, he is, I think I said 45 feet away. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use Toll the yeah. Dead. <laughs> okay. He has to make a wisdom saving throw. What's your uh, DC saving throw? 15. Uh, he just fails with a 13. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, w- w- Toll the Dead, you hear that dolorous bell, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, uh, just the Taco Bell bell throughout the <laughs> fucking... <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks at you and his eyes. The Mexican pizza's back. Get Bob oh, blasted, idiot. <laughs> Bob oh. blasted. Uh, it does 14 damage. <laughs> Get Baja bodied. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Baja bodied. <laughs> sorry, what, sorry. What? Uh, 14, 14 damage. 14 damage? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get fucking bodied. Yo. Taco Bell after this? Yo. Actually, though, yeah, no free real. sponsors, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> beep that out. We're just like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's like when you swear on live TV, it bleeps it out anytime we say uh, a company's name. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. So is that the end of your turn? Mm-hmm. All right. And with that, we start combat as a whole. <gasps> My sour patch kids are blurred out. Yeah. Like, what is it? <laughs> Why do they beep so much? <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys. Well, first session in the fucking studio. How exciting. 
All right. I mean, how are we feeling? That was Mikey Malakowski. (laughs) What does that mean? mean, Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) I also feel very Mikey Malakowski. Cool. I don't know if it's good or bad yet, but I'm I'm into it. I feel like Mikey right now. Yeah, (laughs) I'm feeling like Mikey right now. Shit, uh, it's weird. I don't. I don't normally get like this. (laughs) Only on Monday nights. Only on Monday nights. Yeah. Yeah. You feeling like a little guy? Cool. So. uh... Um, yeah, do you want to do some plugs? Yeah. Don't forget to follow us at Quested Pod on Twitter and Instagram and Quested Podcast on YouTube.com. Uh, we're working on other stuff, but that's what we have up right now. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, yeah check out fucking Tool in the Cooler. Check out Scheming and Dreaming. Hell yeah. All the Snack Spot properties. Um, big, big, big shout out to uh, Brian Ponce. For our uh, our wonderful little uh, fucking Isaac and Blint and Glitch uh, caricatures. Yes, we will be uploading those to our Instagram and Twitter at some point. By the time you hear this episode, probably. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if we have nothing else to say, we want to close this one out, boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. We love you. Love you. We love you. Bye, Dad. We get Dad, if you're eyes. listening, uh, Bye. stop. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's I don't like that. We're gonna make you, you do it again. That, dude. We're you all doing it. uppies. You were doing yeah. it when the, when the cameras were off, dude. Oh yeah, no, I, I was doing a lot of things when the cameras were off. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm being watched, I'm different. <laughs> I'm <primal. laughs> Feral. I'm feral. I'm drooling with anticipation. <laughs> okay. And scene. <laughs>